is the Constitution of the Federated States of Micronesia. It is the most basic and fundamental of laws. It defines how the government works and how the laws are made. It is like the trunk of a tree, the backbone from which all laws come from. The Constitution guarantees the rights of all individuals in our society, whatever their origin. This is the foundation of our society. Any study of the law should begin here, so let us begin. We, the people of Micronesia, exercising our inherent sovereignty, do you by establish this constitution of the Federal State of Micronesia? With this constitution, we affirm our common wish to live together in peace and harmony, to preserve the heritage of the past, and to protect the promise of the future. To make one nation of many islands, we respect the diversity of our culture. Our differences and with us. The sea brings us together. They do not separate us. Our island sustains us. Our island nation enlarges us and makes us stronger. Our ancestors who make their home on these islands. Displace no other people. We will remain with no other room than this. Having known war. We hope for peace. Having been divided. We wish unity. Having been ruled. We seek freedom. Micronesia began in the days when men explored seas in rafts and canoes. The Micronesian nation is born in an age when men forage among stars. Our world itself is an island. We extend to all nations what we seek from each. Peace, friendship, cooperation, and love in our common humanity. With this constitution, we, who have been the worth of other nations, become the proud guardians of our own islands. Now and forever. I, is this library where all the laws stay? Yep. Morning, youngster. Wow, you sure are whole. You look pretty young to be a law. Well, I'm not exactly a law. I'm still a bill. And I know that I shouldn't be here, but I just want to take a look. I'm hoping that someday I will be a law. Oh, come in anyway and take a look around. Are you one of the first laws that came to the Edison? Heavens no. I'm not that old. Once I was young as you are, but I've been around for a while, and I've met some of those first laws. Where are they now? They're around here somewhere. They don't get used much anymore, but they represent the history of our legal system. Do you know our history of our legal system? Sure do. Can you tell me? Well, to do that, we have to go back many years to a time before the foreign occupation of our islands, to a time when the only contact with the outside world was when foreign ships would land on our shores. They brought their own laws with them and began to use them here. Whenever there was a problem between the foreigners and the islanders, the naval ships or gunboats came to solve the problems. They used their own western legal system and their laws were used to mete out justice. Then the Germans came and they were greatly interested in the production of copra and brought laws with them about how we should use our land. Every year, we had to plant coconut trees so that we could harvest more copra for exporting. But then the Japanese came and made laws that no one could drink alcoholic beverages. When the Americans came to our islands, they introduced laws which created democratic elections. 
and soon we were ready to become our own nation. With their advice and guidance, we began to set up our own government and legal system. Yet it was being modeled after the foreign systems that we had seen over the years. So if our country is independent now, why did we power so much foreign ideas in making our legal system? Well, we found the Western legal system to be very useful. It created rights for every person, no matter who they were. And since we wanted our country to interact with many different countries in the world, we needed to have a legal system that they could understand and use as well. So our laws also protect people from different islands and other countries too? Exactly. Oh, I see. So, tell me, how did you become a law? It all started when someone had an idea to talk to their congressman about a certain concern that she had. Excuse me, Senator, do you have a minute? Yes, please sit down. I know that you are my representative to Congress, and Congress is part of our government that makes no laws. That's right. Good, because I have a request for a new law to be made, a law about littering. We don't have a problem with littering, do we? Yes, we do. Come and I'll show you. You see, Senator? There's trash all over the place. I don't think people realize what they're doing when they drop a soda can or a candy wrapper. They think it's just a small piece of trash. How can that hurt anything? But it all adds up. You see? I'm starting to. Hey, you're right. This does look like a problem. Are there other places that suffer from littering too? A lot. Let's go take a look at some of them. I can't believe this. At this rate, my beautiful island will be covered in trash very soon. Where will my children play if there is so much trash around? That's it. We need a law that will stop people from littering. Let's see. Aha! The bird of a new bill. Just a few more changes and then... Ta-da! Here's my bill. Hello. Come on, Bill. I need to take you to the next session of Congress so that I can introduce you to the legislator. It's your first step in becoming a law. Ladies and gentlemen of Congress, there is a great problem that our islands are facing today. This is a problem of littering. Our beautiful islands are being polluted by trash and we must do something to protect them. Let me introduce you to my bill. Hi Bill. Hi Bill. Hi Bill. Very well Senator. Thank you for introducing your bill to us. Now we must send Bill to a committee so that he can be checked out and verified. Welcome to our committee, Bill. Our job is to study you and make sure that we think that you are a good love for our country. Is it going to hurt? Not at all. We just want to look at you closely.
That looks good. This looks good too. Maybe we should call for a public hearing to see what other people think about this bill. A public hearing? Why? Well, Bill, we need to make sure that other people agree with you coming along, not just the senators. If you do come along, it will affect everyone who lives in these islands. I think it's good. I see more and more trash everywhere these days, and it's polluting our environment. Yes, and tourism will go down. No one wants to come and visit a dirty island. If we don't do something, our drinking water may become polluted as well. That's right. If we don't take care of our garbage, then disease will come soon after and people will start getting sick. Okay. I see that you are all in favor of this bill. Now we must take it back to Congress and report on it. I see that the committee has reported bill back to us favorably. Now that we have the report, bill will have its first reading. Be it enacted by the Congress of the Federated States of Micronesia that it be illegal for anyone to pollute our islands. Oh. To pass the first reading bill, we must vote to see if enough of the senators agree that you should become a law. To pass, you must have two thirds of the senators vote yes for you. Senators, all in favor? Farewell, Bill. You are past your first reading. Now, we must wait 24 hours, and you will then have to go through your second reading. If you pass that, we will send you to the President for certification. See you tomorrow, Bill. I'm so nervous. Not everyone voted for me. What if some of the others change their mind and don't pass the second reading tomorrow? Don't worry, Bill. The voting is different from the second reading. Only the chairman of each state's delegation gets the vote. We need three out of four of them to vote yes for you to pass. You'll be fine, now get some rest. All those in favor? Congratulations, Bill. We will now transmit you to the President for his approval and signature. I must warn you, though, if the President doesn't think you should be a law, he can veto you and send you back to Congress. But don't worry, because Congress has the power to vote again and override that veto. You won't have to worry about that, though. I know the President will like you. Good luck.
Welcome, Bill. I've heard all about you, and I think you'd be a great love for this country. And so, if you let me sign you, you'd become a love. Thank you, Mr. President. I know I'll do a good job protecting our islands and our people. Thank you, Bill. Now you should really get going down to the law library where the other laws are. That's your new home now. Thanks again. Bye. Bye. Well, I've finally done it. I'm a law now. First, I had to be introduced to Congress. Then I was sent to a committee to be examined. From there, they sent me to a public hearing to see if the people on the island agreed with me. Then I went back to Congress for my first reading, and the senators voted on me. I passed that vote, and then I had to wait 24 hours for my second reading and another vote. Once I passed the second reading, I was sent to the president for his signature of approval. Now I'm a law. I can't wait to get to the law library of the Supreme Court. That's where I'm heading, and I'm almost there. Oh, well, I'm a little nervous. Some of those laws must be so old, and I'm so young. I'm not sure what exactly I'll do here, but I guess I'll never know unless I go in. Here it goes. Uh, hello? My name is Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but this is the law library. It's not a place for bills. Oh. I'm a law. Come just past me. And you see here? I have the president's signature. Well, come on in then, Bill. You're one of us now. You're a law. <laughs> Thanks. You can sit here next to me. What kind of law are you? Well... I'm an environmental protection law. I make it illegal to pollute in our islands. Oh, that sounds important. I will bet you will get used a lot and go through a lot of changes. What kind of changes? Well, see when laws get used in courts, sometimes judges interpret us the way they think Congress intended us to be. Sometimes this makes us become more specific. It's called setting a precedent and we change a bit once that happened. Yeah, when I was first passed, I was a law who prevented smoking in government offices. Through a court precedent set by a judge, they decided that this meant not just in the office, but anywhere in a government building. Now, people can smoke in hallways and bathrooms, either if they are inside a government building. And you think that'll happen to me? Sure, don't worry about it. It happens to us all. You'll be fine. This case looks pretty clear, Counselor. Your client owns a business that was dumping its trash on public land and polluting our island. This law has been created to protect the environment and makes it legal for people to dump trash wherever they want. I find your client guilty of breaking this law. We will discuss punishment at a later hearing. Case closed. That wasn't bad at all. 
The judge followed my law exactly and found that company guilty of polluting the land. This is going to be easy. Well, they won't all be that easy. There will be some cases that are more difficult to judge. Your Honor, my client was caught dumping a chocolate of leaves and tree branches on some land near his home. I do not believe he is guilty of polluting, since these things are not really trash. They are found naturally in the environment, so he was not breaking this law. I would have to agree with you, Counselor. This law protects the environment from pollution, and the items your client was dumping are natural, and therefore I will rule that he is not guilty of breaking this law. Uh -huh. Case dismissed. Now that was interesting. The judge ruled that dumping tree branches and leaves and other debris from nature is not really polluting the land. So he found that man not guilty of breaking my law. See that? Your law hasn't really changed. But now it's more specific on what is considered trash and what isn't trash. You're growing and I'm sure soon enough you'll begin to change even more. You think so? I know so. Your Honor, my client is not guilty of breaking this law. The law clearly states that it is illegal for anyone to pollute our island. My client was caught dumping trash into the ocean, not on the land of our island. I hear what you're saying, Counselor, but I believe that the creators of this law meant to prevent the pollution of our islands, and that includes the waters surrounding them. If you pollute the waters, our islands will also suffer. I am setting a precedent here and any judge can look at my decision and follow it in a similar case. This judgment does not change the law, but from now on, the land and the waters are protected by this law. Hey, you were right. Now my law prevents people from polluting islands and the water surrounding the islands. See, I told you. That won't be the only change. If you stick around long enough, there will be something else. Hey, what happened to you? I just came back from Congress. They called me back and made amendments to me. Amendments? Yeah, amendments are usually major changes to a law. Congress do that if they see that a law needs to be changed. I had to go back through the foreign process and get the president's signature again. And now I'm back, but I'm not the same as I was before. So... Amendments are different from precedents? Yes, they are permanent changes at least until Congress sees the need to make additional amendments in the future. You mean it can happen more than one time? Sure, as many times as it takes to keep the laws up to date with the changes that our country goes through. That's a long time. Well, laws are here to stay and we need to keep being useful. So that means we need to change if we are no longer protecting our responsibilities. Your Honor, I don't see how my clan has broken this law. He didn't deal on the land or in the waters around our island. So how can he be guilty of breaking this law? That's right, Your Honor. All I was doing was burning some old tires. True, but the black smokes coming from those burning tires was polluting the air over our island. But Your Honor, the lies were the land and the waters. Yes, but the air over our island must also be kept clean or else it will pollute the trees and people on the island. Is this a new precedent you're setting, Your Honor? Yes, it is. From now on, the air will be included in this law. Let me get this straight. Now we protect the land, the water, and the air? Yep. Now the island's protected from all sides. Boy, you've really grown since you first came to us. 
Yeah, and I'm really happy about the way I've changed. You can bet that it won't stop the rebuild. You've got a bright future ahead of you. Wow, that's a great story. Do you think I have a chance of someday becoming a lion living here? Well, as long as Congress and the President think that you'll help make our country a better place to live, I think you have a good chance of sitting here in this library with me. Thanks, Mr. Law. I'd better get back to Congress. I'm being introduced today. Good luck, Missy.